Hey everybody, let's take a look at Studebaker's most famous Hawk model of all, the 56 to 58 Golden Hawk. Just under 10,000 examples of the Golden Hawk were produced from 56 to 58, and today we're going to take a quick look on how to tell them apart. 1956 was the first year for the Studebaker Golden Hawk. Notable 1956 only features include the short uh, stubby fiberglass tail fins, the door scallop along with the full length rocker panel molding, and the Thunderbird style hood scoop. The most obvious 1956 Golden Hawk feature is actually under the hood as it used the Packard 352 cubic inch V8. 1956 was the only year the Golden Hawk used this Packard V8 engine. Studebaker made a number of changes to the Golden Hawk for 1957, including the full length fiberglass hood overlay, as well as the three molding strips found in each side scoop. The biggest change for the 57 Golden Hawk was a new engine. Gone was the Packard V8 and in its place a supercharged version of Studebaker's 289 cubic inch V8 engine. Both engines put out 275 horsepower. Other changes for 1957 included the removal of the 1956 Golden Hawk's door scallops and new all steel tail fins. The 57 Golden Hawk also received new tail lights and a revised trunk lid. The 57 was Studebaker's best-selling Golden Hawk with just over 4,500 examples built. The Golden Hawk received some minor styling updates for its final year in 1958. The most visible changes included the addition of grill work to the side scoops, a large round central grill medallion, and small wings were added to the front fender lights. Other changes for 1958 included some suspension tweaks and 14-inch wheels and unique to 1958 wheel covers. In the end, Studebaker only built 878 examples of the 58 Golden Hawk, and it was canceled at the end of the model year. Thanks for tuning in for this edition of Studebaker History. Come back and join us soon.